How's it going everyone? We're back with another Undecember video and this time we're going to be talking about some best practices when doing rune skill link re-rolling and transferring. Now the transferring bit is going to be a little bit later on in the video and right now we're going to be talking about the best practices with re-rolling links because it will tie into the transferring a little bit later on but there's a lot of information to unpack here you guys so bear with me initially. That being said let's talk about it. Many of you are trying to be getting your five and six links right now. You might be using three links, whatever the way you're going about it is when you are re-rolling skill gems or skill runes, don't be using your primary one that you're currently using unless you've maybe already upgraded it. And it's only like three links. You've got pretty good odds of getting at least a four link then. But if you're trying to, you know, get a four link, you know, let's say I'm using this Crescent slash here. That's three links and I'm trying to get a four link or a five link or a six link. I don't want to go past a four link, even if I hit a four link. Okay. Because there are dismantling rewards for skill runes that are valuable beginning at four links. Okay. At four links, you can get five birth essences at five links. You will get a piece of a condor essence, which with three of them, you combine it and you will then be able to, you know, use a condor essence, which is what's used to let you get a white link on a rune, which is a Omni link. You can use any color gem with it and a fragment of a, um, the, an essence piece, which I can't show you on this page, but we'll talk about it in a moment, a tower crystal. And then if you get a six link and you dismantle it, which many of you, that will be something that you do later on, not right now. Um, you will get a condor essence and a full crystal. And those crystals are used to unlock these side slots here on your tree or, uh, on your, you know, honeycomb to give you more room for your skill gems. Now, when you are re-rolling for your skill gems, and I'm going to use the repeat settings here. You go up here and you go to the slot count. I always set it to four slots. The rune coloring doesn't matter because we can always re-roll that later. You can set the number of times that it's going to repeat and you can even set the speed of it. All right. Have it be fast, have it be slow. All right. And so we're going to have it go and we're going to see if we're going to get a four link at all right now. Um, it actually goes pretty fast if you set it at number five and a hundred will go by very quickly. So be prepared for that to, uh, you know, drain your birth essence pretty quickly. And as you can see, even, you know, with the higher percentage chance that a four link has, it's still pretty uncommon. You know, we've already gone through 60. Now we haven't hit one yet. Boom. We hit one. There it is. And just like that, it's a four link. Now, the reason why you don't go past a four link. Okay is again, like we said, because you can just buy another skill rune right here at the shop, buy a new Crescent Slash, go right back here and try again. Okay. And it's not a big deal because, you know, it doesn't change your odds of getting a five or six link at this point. It's not any different, no matter which rune it is, or when you put a rune in there, it can be a brand new rune every single time that you do this. And it's going to be the same odds every time. So at least if you get a four link, if you're not going to use it, um, anyways, you know, if you're using a lower link count, if you're not going to use that four link, keep it. And then you can take it to the blacksmith and dismantle that, which we'll do over here in a moment. And I'll show you what each reward provides with it. All right. And so then boom, you just go right back here and you try again. All right. We got another four link. Great. You got another four link. Now you've got two four links of that skill. All right. You can do this for any skill, All right? There you go. Buy another one, go back to the rune enchantress. All right. And as you can see, you know, we went through like 70 before we hit our first one. And now we've, you know, hit two within like a 10, a 10, um, 10 use window. Right. And as you can also see, we're actually very close to our six link pity, which by the way, if you don't know when you hit a pity, another one, um, when you hit pity at 1500, your pity resets and it then becomes 3000. So currently it is 1500 and then it becomes 3000 and that goes up. And when you hit, um, if you hit a six link before 
you get to 1500 then it resets you back to zero and you start all over again on your pity the pity is purely there just to guarantee you that four link and if you get a guaranteed four link it ups the amount of pity that you have to hit next time uh as well all right so we'll just do a couple more of these we'll hit one more maybe uh before our birth essences run out or maybe not you know they're going by just like that and there you go so and you end up with the one there and you can just use that one later on as you get more birth essence so now we're going to come over here and show you real fast these crystals many of you have probably tried to unlock these you see that they're worth a hundred thousand gold and this crystal all right and those come from going here to the disassemble if you go over to rune you can see all the stuff that it breaks down into if you have a six link rune okay it will show you what you're going to give all right if I were to disable, if I were to disassemble my level 29 fissure that's rare, six link, I would get a Condor Essence, a Troms Crystal, not a Towers Crystal, my apologies, and eight um, Skill Rune Upgrade Essence pieces, but I'd be out of a ton of gold if I did that. All right, if I took this five link, you can see right there, a Rune of Condor Essence piece. You take three to combine into a Condor's uh, Essence. And there's a chance for a bonus at the Trom's Crystal piece, which you would need 10 to make a full one. And if you do four links, which we have here now, right? One, two, three. We have three of them. We're going to get back 15 Rune Birth Essences. All right. You basically, if you hit a four link, you don't go past it because you can reinvest into your rolls by disassembling them and getting more rune birth essences back okay so you don't want to ever go past four links because it just gives you more opportunities to be able to roll more okay now what if you've used a blue rune or what if you've rolled a normal quality rune here and you want to roll it on to another rune okay now we're going to talk about the transferring of it now this is a little bit different all right, and jumping right into it, you're going to go down here to the transfer rune, transfer skill rune. You're going to see the list of runes that are available. They're only going to be the ones that are in your inventory. All right, and you're going to pick the rune that you want to transfer the links from. All right, from. So the one that you would put first, in this case, if I want to transfer this, these five links, all right, you register that skill rune first. And if I want to transfer those five links over to my Crescent Slash, I register it there. All right. And you can see that there is a price. This is the price of it. And the end result is a level one Crescent Slash, normal quality with five links. And the combo skill gem, skill rune, will be destroyed as an end result. Now, this price, some of you might be going, going to do this and you see that that's not there. If you have not completed acts one through 10 on a first character, then this transfer process is still completely free. Okay. Once you have beaten all 10 acts and you've gone into the final end town, all right, skill rune transferring will now have a price cost of these essences right here. Another reason to hold on to any four links that you get so that you can reinvest back reinvest them back into getting rune birth essences because you're going to need rune birth essences to transfer runes as well so right there you see the end result is that but if you noticed that maybe you want to transfer this five link to a blue skill that you have well unfortunately you can't do that it doesn't show up and that is because you cannot transfer a normal quality rune to a higher quality rune okay but you can transfer a higher quality rune to a lower quality rune all right and when doing so it transfers the level and the quality to that new skill rune so as you can see the end result is now a level 20 blue quality crescent slash with two links all right so that is what that situation would end up like there now you also may have noticed that 
there was another Finder's Wrath in our inventory. That was four links. Where is it? Well, as it says right here, okay. Transfer not available between identical skills. So if you are trying to roll links for a skill, okay, that is one that you're already using and you want it to be a higher link, all right, you are not able to transfer those links to that skill. Instead, what you can do is when you go over to the rune growth table, you know, where you level up your rune levels, you can just feed the previous rune into it if they are the same quality. You don't need to transfer, uh, you know, you don't need to transfer the links from one to the other. You can literally just feed it and it will get those levels for free in the transfer process. But if there is a quality disparity, there's a little bit of a workaround process that you got to do for this now. All right and you might lose your current skill as a blue quality. But what you can do is you can take this new one, okay, this is my new skill, it's four links right here, all right? And you can go and level this one up separately now, okay? So this will be your new four link, right? Fighter's Wrath. It's gonna be normal quality, all right? And that doesn't make your old Fighter's Wrath wasted okay what you can do is you can take your old fighter's wrath and you can transfer it to a new skill right so if you want to, if you have another ability in your arsenal that's in your build that is not blue quality and maybe it has less links like you know maybe my fighter's wrath was three links and you had something that was two links you know a crescent slash or something or you just want more links and you want to transfer the level over as well okay you can just turn that new skill into a higher level blue quality version of itself okay or you can then use your fighter's wrath that you have okay and utilize it in synthesis because you know you need magic runes anyways for synthesis so worst case scenario you can reinvest this skill rune back into your synthesis mileage trying to get other synthesis runes available okay so just again quick reminder you cannot transfer rune to rune you cannot transfer a lower quality to a higher quality okay and when you transfer rune links that one will be destroyed okay but again you know if you need more skill upgrade essences make a new character get it to act two when you get to act two they give you a free upgrade essence just use it then all right once you've you know transferred or gotten the link count that you want for the skill all right just remember as soon as you upgrade it again if you roll links for it you can't use it okay all right it's just it just goes gone all right you're well not gone but you can't upgrade to it again okay so you know, it can be best if you don't have a desirable link count. Don't upgrade the skill yet. I know it's going to be appealing, but, you know, just hold off and wait a little bit until maybe you roll a higher link count one. All right. So that's how the those are some of the best practices with skill rune link rerolling and transferring. I hope this video was helpful to some of you. Again, if you have any questions about this video that maybe I didn't answer or maybe I wasn't clear about something. Um, because this was a lot of information and I probably got turned around at a couple points um, and you need clarification, feel free to come over to our Twitch channel while we're live and I will be more than happy to answer any questions that you have about it or provide you a live example. Have a good one. Take care.